Hey everyone, just got done at the grocery store and now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got and what I'm gonna be meal prepping. Great, so the first meal of the day is breakfast and here's all the ingredients of what you'll need for it. And of course, you can always kind of switch it around to make it your own of what your favorites are. So oatmeal, the base is going to be quick oats and quinoa and then berries. Those are the, my usually my fruit of choice. And then I have like my nuts and seeds array over here. So I've got chia seeds. You can do flax meal. Personally, what I like to do sometimes instead of flax meal is um, hemp hearts, but they did not have them at the store today. So that's fine, I chose that. This is pumpkin seeds. And then um, sometimes you can either do like, let's say walnuts, almonds, or today I wanted to try an almond butter coconut. So I thought that was a little interesting. And then lastly, I have a little extra protein powder to add to it. And you can choose whatever type of milk that you prefer. I was just gonna try this new one, coconut silk. Um, one of my most favorite type of um, plant-based milk is oat milk. And that is what you need to do our oatmeal. All right, next up is going to be either our pizza or our tacos or even sometimes our salad and all this. So if I was gonna do a pizza, I have this non-roasted garlic that's already set up, super easy to do. Or I love these um, uh, five simple ingredients tortillas that are awesome. Again, you can switch up any of this stuff. Um, I like a plant-based cheese. It's personally my favorite, but again, choose your favorite. I know sometimes like goat cheese is a, is a huge popular one. I've got your classic roasted garlic tomato sauce. And then for the vegetables, these are personally my favorite. Again, you can change it up for you, but I have a red onion, the sweet peppers, I've got some olives, the zucchini and squash, the mushrooms, and today I'm gonna try um, the tops of broccoli on the pizza. It's gonna be a little interesting, but I'm gonna try it. And then for my protein, you can do either black beans or garbanzo beans, or I like tempeh. Or again, if you're not plant-based, you can go to like chicken or steak or turkey or whatever you want there. And then I use like a garlic, herb, black pepper, sea salt, little mix here that makes life super convenient. And that's what I have for the next meals. All right, now for this salad, I'm going to be having some baby spring mix. I'm gonna try beets, I've never done it, but I've been inspired to try some beets today. Here are the vegetables I like to use. So the red onion, the zucchini, you can do squash too, peppers, mushrooms. Your source of protein, again, if you're plant-based, you can go into like rice and, and beans, garbanzo beans or tempeh, or if you're not, obviously it's like your chicken or your steak or your fish is also great. And uh, then seeds, uh, chia seeds or pepitas, which is pumpkin seeds. And then for my topping, I'm gonna do the olive oil and a little bit of balsamic. There you have it. Okay, so you'll see here that my snacks are actually very few. I don't have a lot of snacks and it's just because a lot of the ingredients and nutrients that I eat throughout the rest of my meals, it does take your cravings away. It's when you're eating empty calories that you'll start having cravings because your body is craving those nutrients. So one of my snacks that I do is a protein shake. So if I'm looking for something a little bit more feeling, filling, um, and I don't really quite want a whole meal, uh, this is a snack that I go to sometimes one or two a day, especially after a workout. Um, and if I want it a little bit like creamier, I'll add a little bit of some milk into it, but essentially you can just do like water and protein powder. Another snack that I do is also listed on the back of the protein powder called booty balls. This is if I'm craving that chocolate or something a little bit more sweet, I'll actually go and make these. Um, the other one, if I'm looking for like more of a saltier snack, I definitely go for the sea salt popcorn. Not made from butter, it's just olive oil and sea salt, and it's just one of my favorites at the end of the night or I'm just kind of having those cravings, that's what I'll go for. And then if I'm looking for a drink that just has zero calories and something that just is guilt-free, I'll go for this sparkling water Razzle Cranberry, and that's one of my favorite by, I don't even know how to pronounce that brand name, so La Coy, uh, I don't know. So, um, but you can see it's very limited as far as my snacks go, just again, because I'm filling up my body with nutrients throughout the day. And so this will be more affordable for you because you're not buying tons and tons of snacks um, throughout the day, like licorice and candy and all that. You'll actually be saving a lot of money by just um, reducing your snacks and eating a lot of your nutrients through your food.
All right, so this is where saving time, money, and your sanity all comes into play. So you're boiling your beets, you're boiling your quinoa and anything else, like if you had meats that you wanted to boil. And then meanwhile, you're cutting your produce over here and just prepping it all for the week. All right, so let's get started. I'm just gonna show you three, um, when normally obviously you could do like five or seven of these, but I just wanna show you how simple these can be. So I just kind of look at it as thinking about like a half a cup. And as you can see, I don't sit and measure anything. So I just kind of sit and pour it in and get my best shot there. And then what I do, so, so let's stick with carbs actually, so you can kind of see. So here's carbs, and then we're gonna add some more carbs in each one. So just a few berries in each one here. Okay, so this is gonna be, for the most part, your carbohydrates, except for now our awesome quinoa. I did have a little water down, because again, I didn't measure anything, but that's fine with me. I don't care, because we're gonna need water in these anyways. Okay, so quinoa is going to be a carb as well as some protein, so now this is gonna be kind of a mixture of both. So I put about a half about a half a cup inside each one of these. And then as you can tell, I have a lot of leftovers that I can sit and now make additional. Okay, the next, let's go ahead and start uh, tapping into our protein. And that will be, you've got fats and protein in your pumpkin seeds. So your healthy fats, your healthy proteins, your vitamins, minerals, nutrients, right? You've also have got a great source of protein in chia seeds. So I'll sprinkle some of that on there. Flax seed is also a great source of protein, as well as just absolutely amazing for health benefits, balancing your hormones, really help stop cravings and all that. So you can see why with a lot of this, that's why I don't have a lot of cravings, is because I'm really feeding my body. And then, uh, let's actually stick with protein still, sorry. So the next what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of some protein powder and do probably like a fourth of this scoop. So just like a little sprinkle on this. I don't like to do a lot of protein powder in my oatmeal because this kind of starts to get a little uh, thickening and I like mine a little bit more uh, runnier. Okay, so there you go. And then we'll add now again, a little bit of some protein and fats in each one of these. I look for about maybe like a half of a, a tablespoon in each one of these. Now I'm not really being the most uh, chef-like over here using my fingers, but my hands are clean. And I'm the one that's eating it. <laughs> okay, there you go. So. Go ahead and take a look now. You can see this is um, very high protein, also most of my carbs at the beginning of the day. And so you can kind of see the ratio here if you were looking at just the protein, carbs, and fats um, that I'm getting in an amazing amount of um, higher protein, about medium carbohydrates, and pretty low in fats here. So really decent, absolutely great. It's gonna give me energy for several hours um, until my next meal. I, be, I eat about every two to three hours, and there you go. And what's great about this is now you can just either add um, hot water and then, or a little bit of some milk, and it's that quick. You can just take with you anywhere. All right, so here's the snacks that I have with me for the rest of the day. So I always start my day off with a nice good little tea, chamomile, and I run around with a nice good kind of big container. I don't know if it looks big to you, but it's a pretty decent sized container to run around with some good tea. The next one I have for a snack is my protein shake. Again, you can mix it with just water or you can do milk. And that is the Booty Bands and Barbells Protein. It's made with a source of almonds and it's gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, and beyond nine essential amino acids. So super amazing protein powder and it's vanilla. You can also change the flavor if you want to, um, to chocolate just by adding cacao to it. I also run around with a, I think this is a half a gallon of water and um, I have some um, oranges in there today. And then as well, like I'll add, um, uh, you could add basil, you could add raspberries, like whatever you wanna flavor your water with is awesome. And then another snack that I'll also do um, 
in uh, it just kind of depends on like where I'm at, what I'm doing, if I have them available. These booty balls are phenomenal tasting and the recipe is right behind here, but it kind of just gets you that nice, good protein fix throughout the day. If you don't have that, you could go into like a, a protein uh, bar or something like that um, for your snacks for the day. All right, next up is going to be either lunch or dinner with tacos. So show you how so simple this is and absolutely so healthy. So I take my already pre-cooked tortilla and place it there. And then everything that I cut up before with all of the favorite vegetables that you prefer, then you'll go ahead and scoop that into your saute pan. Depending on if you're like making it for your entire family or however that is. And then I just take my garlic herb. And whatever seasonings that you prefer is great. Just to add a little bit more protein there, in there, I'm just gonna add a few more of the chickpeas just to saute them and crisp. Also, I really like these roasted, so um, those are great. I'll show you later in the salad. I'm gonna do the, those are roasted. All right, the tortillas are done placing them here, and then just scooping the rest of that into your taco. I mean, it just smells delicious. It's super healthy, and you can top it with whatever you want. So I personally love this Red Hot Frank's. It is my favorite, and it's not that spicy to me, so I really go nuts. And then any sort of like cheese that you like, you just wanna use that. And, moderation you don't want to go too nuts on it again you want to keep your ratio of your protein really high on this and not go too nuts but look at that quick and on the go check it out i'm ready to go now if you don't want to do tacos and you prefer to do pizza instead let me just kind of show you how i do pizza using almost kind of very similar uh, stuffings like i did the uh, tacos okay so First, what I do is I just go into the madeira. Sometimes I like to even put fresh uh, spinach or even fresh basil on here too. It's also really good. I'm just kind of doing this obviously really quick, but you can kind of see what I'm doing. You can do olives on it if you prefer. And then again, something similar like the garlic herb or even just some like Italian seasoning is great. And the protein here, I've got um, tempeh and I also have chickpeas that you can add on to this. Um, or you can obviously choose whatever type of protein you want to do. Um, but I personally just think this is so good. Okay, and then from there, I will just bake it around 350. When the edges are golden brown, then it's done. Today I wanted to try a little bit of the um, broccoli on the top and see how that is too. All right, looking good. So while I had the pizza cooking, I went ahead and threw in the beets and the chickpeas to give them a nice good little roast to them. So that way we can use for our salad. And then for the last meal prep of the day, I usually do a salad towards the end of the evening. So that way I wake up with the tiniest waste ever. <laughs> All right, so we've got some salad here. You obviously you can prep for more than just three. I'm just kind of using it as a demo to show you. Um, same vegetables as basically the pizzas and the tacos if you want. Um, is what I do and I like to start doing it raw. 
raw is where you get the most nutrients out of it. Um, and so that's a great way to just really get in those nutrients is just by eating it raw. Now, if you don't like it raw, you can easily saute these as well. Roast them as well is a great idea for salads. And then again, things like pumpkin seeds, you can do chia seeds, hemp hearts are really good on salads. This just kind of kicks the protein up just a notch. And then adding more protein, sometimes I even um, enjoy fish on this, so this would be a great one if you want to do that for a protein. And you just really want to now start bringing up the protein a lot more on this one. Again, having try to around 50, 60% of your meals, try to get that protein and through your nuts and seeds and things like that. And then, and you could obviously let this cool down, it's still pretty steaming, but I'm just kind of giving you the visual so you can see it here. Awesome, doesn't that look amazing? And I seasoned it just with the same seasonings as before, the garlic, herb, salt, or you could do an Italian, or really what obviously, whatever you prefer. Great, so that's all ready to go. And then um, what I do is I'll just drizzle it with a little bit of some olive oil. And then if you do balsamic, you don't have to really go in moderation, but if you do the glaze, I see a lot of people use glaze. I haven't used glaze in a really long time, but I really do enjoy it. it um, it's just, you wanna make sure to do it in moderation as well. So just really light, cause it is a little bit high in sugar, but if you do it lightly, will be good. Um, if you wanted to add any other sort of cheese or anything on here, just do it very lightly. But again, you wanna just keep it very high vegetables, high fiber, as you can see. And you can even um, up the protein by adding some more nuts and seeds in there. Awesome, that completes our meal prep and what I eat in a day.